Hello, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, you are going to learn floating text using CSS. How to float a text? With the based on your requirement, you can make it as a turn around a image with the float the text of your to make in a beautification, which a small space is available. You can place the some lines, like uh, unless until you are left, it is in a white space. Likewise, how the newspaper is going to be printing, like uh, using all the spaces with the alignment. If the image is small, the text will be placed small. If it is email is uh, like image is suits the complete space, then the text will be automatically turned like to down to the image and it will be displaced. How these alignments will be happen in HTML? Floating is a technique and applying this floating technique to like uh, make it as an around how it, sh it should be displayed like in the real time HTML page will be seen here. Let's begin the session. See here. Like I can simply say you that CSS float property specify how an element should float. The CSS clear property specify what element can be float besides the clear element on which side. The float property is used to positioning and formatting the content. Example, let an image float left to the text in the container. The float property can have one of the following values. It might be left. The element floats the left of the container. Right, the element floats the uh, like uh, right of the container. None should not be none. The element does not float will be displayed just where it is occurs of the text. This is the by default. If you are not applied anything, it will be none. And inherits the element inherits float value of its present. It's a simple use the float, float property and how to wrap the text around the images. We'll see how it is going to be. Like I'm taking as a simple paragraph, as you see here, copy. So simply you take any paragraph, paragraph and add some text here. And you refresh the page, you will see that. Yes, the simple text is an example with the paragraph. All right. And now, one more paragraph I'm taking with the some extra content. Let's see here. After this paragraph, I'm adding some more text by adding more text, common text. And this is the paragraph is open and end here. See, within the paragraph, I have added one image tag. With this image tag, what I am specifying here, SRC attribute how the image will be called with the src attribute and pineapple.jpg because uh, let me see this image is not available or not yeah within my project folder i'm verifying this images is the apple is there orange is there orange.png so i'm using this orange.png to my code form let's close this and how can i call this so simply Drag to here, it should come. Whereas, write the orange, orange dot jpg. That's all. And alternate, I can write this orange alternate text for image is important to identify the search engines. Strongly remember. And style this is the style width is 170px and height for 170px and margin rights is 15px. All right, so I'm added within the p tag with the image tag with the image source and some text I have given how it is going to be turned around, it is displaying in the by default. I'm still now I'm not applied any float now. Refresh this image is not in the so the part of the image is required to make it should be available. Yes, I have to write like this. The folder name is this I M G G images images. Now let me see the image path is separated. You see, 
the file is here welcome.html which is our demonstration form the html form and the folder within the project the folder is here like uh, images so the path should be like images we have to specify the first folder where to go uh, to find the source image and after that within the images folder orange.jpg is the extension that is displaying here so i have written with the forward slash and orange.jpg the spelling of the file name should be accurate and orange.jpg with the extension we have to write so it is a source we have given a perfection of the name now it will be if i refresh you see here the orange image is displaying and now see here orange image is displaying at the beginning of the paragraph and this is the content of white space you are seeing here this is how about we are prepared for floating text for this lecture all right now we try to apply the like a floating options to this particular image and uh, this content and we'll see how it is within the style with the for the image tag i'm adding like a float is right these are the options we are going to apply and we'll see uh, how it is with the left right and inherits by default it is none okay on style tag see this is the style tag and before the style tag ends doing here yes preparing image tag adding the image tag here this is the image tag and uh, open and uh, close the curly braces float i have a uh, mentioned the keyword of float and that is equal to that with the colon with the value of right i am using what right is saying this one the element floats to the right of its container see here the element save this and reload of the path yeah reload now you see here the right part it will be shown as of now to display this part of image element Uh, we'll try to see like a uh, right changed left right go to the form it's also displaying the left only now we'll try to apply for something inherits i'm trying to apply in the thing style float right Applying for paragraph or something with the paragraph, have we done anything? Nothing. So I'll try to wait. Is this on this image tag? It should be like a, yeah, save and it is a moving turn around. Turn around like a, we have we are trying to applying like a grouping of the text and all. Whereas um, the thing it is applying within the paragraph, it is a turnaround, it is applying. See here, by minimizing the image here, uh, yeah, making like a more responsive. Yes, we have to like uh, add uh, one uh, attribute called the responsive thing at the top of the page. Uh, yes, it is available. So it should be like a uh, moving around to around. Like uh, I'll uh, try to change my image place to come around uh, ending of the position. So refresh. Yeah, something it is uh, displaying like an inherent position. If you are uh, replacing like a page around, it will be like a turn around the things and it will comes to display around your wish the image the context of this actually floating should be wherever you want to like a float the data it's all about to float and it will be displays all right uh, I'll, I'll i'd like to take a uh, one more demo this very simple thing i'm not applying anything over here uh, I'm taking this Peter to that our new team subdiv new team here. Yeah. 
wave and fresh. See now this is it is going to here. Now if I apply it, where is the inheritance view? And if I try to change the distance to right, see here still. Right. Fresh. It is displaying like here. Yeah. Welcome back here. Earlier we have applied to like a flow to do right, left, and inherit and all. Yes. It's already overlapping with our existing classes and all. Now you see I have cleared all the things from the style sheet. Now for the image tag only I have applied here with the float right. And now see here this p tag is with the image of orange we have called. So called. Now save this and open the page of our page. Let's refresh it. Floating the text and the image is displayed here. Minimize and always will be like the image will be displayed along around with the text it is displaying like uh, with the image. Have you clear? Now I will show you one more thing. Like uh, applying of uh, another property called uh, left. This is how it is now. So I am making the move around the form. This is the uh, C. Of the floating the text automatically we have right now see here with the float option i'm changing to the left save it reload the form it is making around to the left now the see the alignment how it is assigned now i can make it is in a one more value it is in a inherit try to inherit refresh it is inherits you see it is big and small and all and uh, if it is nothing is there none means no, we are not nothing like applying flow to by default it will be shown like this all right this is the way you can apply like uh, making the images and turn around the value like text which you want to display like newspapers and all the alignments how they are doing this is the option of a float like making the textbook and notebook and many things to be presenting a clean data without spaces and all. Turn around, you can make it as an text and all. I hope you are having a good idea how to apply these uh, floating in a, like a CSS by applying of the HTML forms. We'll see in the next lecture. Thank you for watching this session. Thank you.